Hello, and welcome to Art Minutes. I'm Patricia Tomlinson, curator at the Appleton Museum of Art. Today, I wanted to introduce you to a wonderful painting from our permanent collection entitled Song of the Sea, Cuddy Sark. The artist is Montague Dawson, who was a very famous British maritime artist and considered one of the best in the world. When I speak of maritime art, what I am referring to is images of the great sailing ships of long ago. One of the most interesting things about this particular painting is it looks much older than it really is. This painting was actually painted in 1964, and Montague Dawson was actively painting in the 20th century. So even though this painting looks like it may have been painted something like the late 1700s or sometime in the 1800s, it was actually painted in 1964. So that's sort of an interesting fact about this. He was obviously very enamored of that long ago tradition of the great sailing ships. I also wanted to talk to you a little bit about the history of the ship. The ship is named the Cuddy Sark and exactly what that means and what that entails before I go into the details of the actual painting. The Cuddy Sark was an extraordinary ship that was very much of its particular time. What it was referred to as a tea clipper. And a tea clipper went from England to China to get tea. Of course, the British have a great tradition of drinking tea for hundreds and hundreds of years. And of course, before coal and other things that could get ships there faster, you had to sail to China to pick up the tea and then sail back to England to deliver the tea to interested buyers. It was crafted to be very fast and light in order to make the ship move about quickly and complete the journey in, in some cases, record time. What you do with this, however, is you sacrifice cargo space. So it was made to go pick up only pretty much only tea and then quickly sail back home. These types of ships are referred to as extreme clippers. And in addition to the lack of cargo space because of that, you have a lengthened bow at the front of the ship. It draws it out and you sharpen the forward body to make it cut through the waves and once again make it faster. This particular ship, the Cuddy Sark, was built in Dumbarton, Scotland in 1869 and that plays a real part in the name. Cuddy Sark is an old Scottish word for an, a lady's undergarment. Basically, a long chemise or shift made of linen that would have been worn under someone's garment and then subsequently often slept in too. The word Cuddy Sark is also featured in an epic poem by legendary poet Robert Burns. He taught in this particular poem entitled Tam O'Shanter, he talks about a poor farmer who was coming home late from the pub and encountered a coven of witches. <laughs> um, a subsequent chase ensues. He does make it to safety, but he unfortunately has to sacrifice the tail of his beloved mare um, that the witch pulls out trying to get to him and harm him. So the masthead of the Cuddy Sark is the witch with the horse tail in her hand. When we look at details about the painting, we can really see Dawson's mastery with the ships as well. The ship is in full sail. It's leaning slightly to the side because of the rapidity of its movement. We have a beautiful, it's hard to say, but it's either dawn or sunset um, behind it. So it, it's seen in this sort of rosy golden light, what people refer often to as the golden hour. When we look in detail, at the waves, we see Dawson's real mastery. 
As most people know, when you look at a color, it's really not just one color. And this sort of exemplifies that by showing the waves as a little bit of violet off to the left, a little bit of rosy colored right under the crest of the wave in the middle of the picture plane. Of course, various types of greens, a little bit of gray. So Dawson really understood the complexities of water and how it isn't simply one color. There's a lot of depth a lot of movement. He really evokes the rapidity of the ship sailing through these waves by the way that he depicts them. Thank you for listening, and I look forward to sharing more Art Minutes with you soon.